And welcome back to the noon news. Well, as promised, we do have a special guest with us in the studio, our friend William Perry Penley in town from Denver, Colorado. Of course, he's with the Mountain States Legal Foundation. And, and Perry, you're in town for a special Montana Agro Women event taking place tonight at the Rocky Mountain College. Things get underway there at 530. You know, what are some of the things you're gonna be visiting with folks about in Billings tonight? Well, obviously, the, the first matter of concern to a lot of rural people is this Waters of the United States rule that the Obama administration has put out. Uh, over the years, people have fought back against attempts by the Corps of Engineers and the EPA to expansively interpret what Waters of the United States means. Congress meant it narrowly. Uh, the agencies try to expand it so that anything uh, they think is a wetland, they can just tell landowners they can't use it. Uh, and so the Supreme Court's cut back on that but the bureaucracy never stops, and this bureaucracy, 300-page rule with appendices that run 370 pages, at least one of them, defining what five words in the statute mean, waters of the United States. And essentially what the Obama administration is saying is anything we say is a wetland is and you can't use it. Yeah, the fight is gonna continue on that one, I'm sure, for some time. Oil and gas is also a big priority of you folks at the Mountain States Legal Foundation, in particular one case up in Glacier Country. Yes, absolutely, south of Glacier National Park. When I was in the Reagan administration, we issued a bunch of leases, including this one, to a man named Sidney Longwell out of Louisiana. He applied for an application for a permit to drill on the land. He went through four NEPA uh, processes, American Historic Preservation Act processes, appeals, litigation, and finally, after uh, three attempts, finally got permission to drill, and then the Clinton administration came in, put an end to it. It's been suspended ever since 1993. We sued in 2013. The judge demanded the Obama administration give an answer. What are you going to do with this? You're going to say yes, you're going to say no, what are we going to do? Finally, on March the 17th, the Obama administration canceled the lease. It's unprecedented, never happened before. Essentially, the federal government tore up, th uh, tore up a contract mm -hmm. uh, between itself and, and this man. We think there's a huge natural gas deposit up there. It is the overthrust belt. It'd mean great jobs for Montanans. 